Let's talk about the serious subject of HIV AIDS in our community, and especially what is happening on HBCU campuses. According to the Center for, for Disease Control and Prevention, college students account for about 55% of all HIV infections among those ages 13 to 24. We're talking about how to get the message out there and stop the spread of HIV and AIDS with Phil Wilson. He is the founder and CEO of the Black AIDS Institute. Actresses Cheryl Lee Ralph and Vanessa Williams, both longtime HIV, HIV AIDS activists. Well, folks, certainly glad to have you on Washington Watch. Um, Phil, you know, this is an issue that I've talked about for years. Black folks said, well, let's not really deal with. Uh, but we're now in a situation where the face of AIDS is a black heterosexual woman. And we're sitting here acting as if, well, things are okay, things have changed. We see Magic Johnson, he's thriving. But this is literally killing another generation of young black folks. Yes, Roland, AIDS in America today is a black disease. And the only way that we're going to be able to end the AIDS epidemic in America is to address the AIDS epidemic in black America. And what's important to know is that we actually have the tools to do that. We have the tools to end the AIDS epidemic. But it's going to require all of us to get involved, and it's going to require for us to focus on those communities that are most impacted, and that includes black college students. Here's what I don't understand, Shirley and Vanessa. We always talk about it's about education, education. So how in the world could we be seeing this increase with college students, folks who are the best and the brightest of black America who are supposed to be educated? This is so interesting that you say this because I, before I came here, I was speaking with a student on a college campus and he said to me, Miss Ralph, something is wrong. He says, why is it that we spend so much time trying to promote concert after concert and we cannot promote health information and the things that really matter to us. We are supposed to be what you just said, the best and the brightest. What has gone wrong? And so the good part is that they're now thinking, mm -hmm. they're now seeing it. And that's how young folks learn when they accept it. Exactly. It's about being on that leading edge, that yeah. cutting edge. And as we like to say at the Black AIDS Institute about getting in the game. Hmm. And because we represent Black Hollywood and folk like to follow the people that they like about mm -hmm. what they do, the coalition of, of, of black celebrities here in Hollywood are all about taking that charge and being the face to say, get in, get in the game, know I, your status. I but young I, folks also feel like they are, they feel like Superman and Superwoman. Yeah. They feel it's somebody else's fight. It right. feels like it's like it's got well, nothing to do with me. That's what we gotta tell me. them that well, it's right. And also in fairness, you know, we've had a decade of no sex education, no AIDS education, right, exactly. that the message in the schools has mm -hmm. been abstinence only. So we have a whole generation of college students that have been, have not been given the tools that they need to protect themselves. Yeah. And that's outrageous. And they don't I, use the tools right. that can protect them. I, I, we talk about condoms, but it's not like they're putting them on. I spoke at Ohio State and uh, as a part of any speech I give, I'm always challenging folks to say, how are you going to commit yourself uh, to changing our community? And so I had everybody write down what they wanted to commit for the next for the next year and several of them said HIV AIDS. I said okay fine I said but here's my question I said how many of you have challenged or even asked your dorm mates yeah. have they been tested mm -hmm. hands didn't go up I said right. wait a minute I said help me out here so how can you say you want to work to eradicate this disease but you're unwilling to ask the very people who are sitting right next to you what that tells me is they are saying I want to fight it theoretically yeah. right. but I'm afraid to it's ask the very people right next to me the have you been tested or the even ask themselves knowing their own status you know because let's not forget there's still a lot of shame around it there's a lot of shame around sex in general yeah. and and homosexuality Folks can hardly say yeah sex. you know they can hardly <laughs> say <laughs> sex well, they can hardly say sex. Yes. Can so we talk any, about sex? Can, let's you talk about, about sex. sex. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. And know your status and, and, and be about really making it a personal commitment right. as you as you charge them. Do, do we also, and, and look, and Phil, I've, I've worked with you, worked with Magic Johnson Foundation on this issue, but is it also a case that we do not have the same infrastructure in place in terms of African Americans on Capitol Hill and in state houses demanding also where resources are allocated. I've talked to black AIDS organizations locally and they said, man, it's tough to even get a few dollars here, but they said, but in white gay male communities, 
strong. That's right. So is that, is that also part no, of the problem a, a, here? Absolutely. You know, who's at the table when the decisions are made is critically important. Yes. You know, uh, and when, you know, th there's a saying is that if you don't have a seat at the table, you might be on the menu. Uh, and that's <laughs> So it is important that people who look like us, now in fact, are at the tables where the decisions are being made. Yeah. It's also important that folks who look like us are the messengers, because the messenger right. matters. Absolutely. Now, and yeah. that's why the infrastructure is important. And what's happening right this moment, you know, the, the HIV AIDS infrastructure in black communities uh, is, being is being destroyed across hmm. this country. And we need to respond to that, because at the very moment hmm. when we have the potential to end, end the it. AIDS ep epidemic, right. we will not have the infrastructure to actually use those tools. And that's important. Final you know, comment from the both of you. You know what? It's so interesting because I'm listening to what the both of you are saying. But you want to know who's got to show up for you when you're in the middle of the fight? You better doggone be ready to show up for yourself. That's right. Since the beginning, since this disease has hit us as a community, we have been the last ones to speak up and show up for ourselves. The difference between gay white men in this disease and black folks in this disease is when it hit gay white folks hardest, they organized, they strategized, they came together, they marched on Washington, and they said, I don't care what you think about me or my sexual preference. I, too, am a taxpaying American, and I deserve your help help now. That's what they get. We are the last people to show up for ourselves. The AIDS quilt, and he and I were talking about this last mm -hmm. week, is 55 miles long. You know how many miles are dedicated to black people? Half a mile, because we will not represent ourselves even in the quilt. This International AIDS Conference, we better show up yeah. in numbers and we better march on Washington. Vanessa. It's like I said, it's about getting in the game. It's about Gotta being get in it. Yes, it's about doing what, what you know to do to get educated, to spread the word, to beat the shame and come with it. Well, Stigma, folks, shame and silence. We got to break that silence. I certainly appreciate it. And uh, as always, you know, with uh, black folks involved, there will be a shout out. <laughs> uh, Chris is Shirley Ralph's new book. It is called Redefining Diva, Life Lessons from the Original Dream Girl. She said this is the first copy. Yeah. So, black folks, you got your shout out, Shirley. All right, there you go. <laughs> All right, then. Phil, Shirley, but that's what we certainly appreciate it. Thanks. Again.